three. As the pressure is applied again. Pekovic. Still Pekovic driving it low and it needed the touch from Joe Hart. It looked for just a fraction of a second as if it was going to get past him. Well, it did, didn't it? I think that would have surprised the all if it would have gone in, but it looked like it was going in and Joe Hart just scooping the ball almost, didn't he? Passed his left hand post there. Corner is very deep. There's a man beyond the far post struggling to stay on his feet. Zvaratic. Jovetic, Damjanovic, calls for Jovetic, they're trying to carve over the space, they've done so, Jovetic goes down and the penalty is given this time! Well, Jovetic has gone down again at this time from a stray arm. I think that was from the referee, <laughs> <laughs> put him away. Well, it's still not clear what the referee's decision was here. It was brilliant play, I know that. Now, is there a block off from John Terry? Is there contact? Doesn't look like a lot of contact does there from John Terry. Jovetic takes the little bit of contact, goes to ground. Brilliant play, though, I have to say from him initially. Uh, he didn't give the penalty, Jovetic. that was uh, my suspicions. Jovetic was booked for a simulation. Referee uh, Wolfgang Stark. It's entirely clear from his uh, signalling what was going on. That's, uh, he's no second guessing, does it? Uh, a head collision there between uh, Jovanovic and Danny Welbeck. Nightmare, isn't it, for Milan Ivanovic has come into this game. He's picked up his yellow card, so suspended for the last game on Tuesday. Now he's clashed his head. Danny Welbeck there, looks like he's going to be okay. Yeah, that was a close call, wasn't it, for England at the back? Brilliant bit of play from Stefan Jevotic, I know that. Clever little through ball, scooped over the top and just brushed past John Terry. Went to ground, wasn't enough contact, was it? And I thought the referee, like you, had given that. But actually, upon closer inspection, I think he got that right. I think the, the close call before that, if anything, was more of a penalty. One that uh, England were perhaps lucky to avoid. Yeah, I think so. Phil Jones was the first one, wasn't it, with the uh, desperate lunge in from behind. I thought clipped him. And that one, the referee again. The referee was close. I mean, he's, he's been right on the spot. The Wayne Rooney thing, you think he's five yards away from Wayne Rooney as he lashed out and got the red card. Still going to be three minutes of stoppage time for Montenegro. An equaliser means everything to them. Savage's delivery is superb, and they've got that equaliser. Dele Basic is the super sub, and he is a Montenegrin hero. That could be the goal that takes them to the Euro qualifying playoffs. Well, you've got to say they've deserved it. There's going to be yellow cards here, isn't there, surely, for leaving the field of play without the referee's permission, but they don't care. You're absolutely right. This could be the big, big goal for Montenegro. Yes, they've got the playoffs to come if it stays like this in this game. But it's a tremendous fight back in this second half. England allowed it. Fingers will be pointed at Wayne Rooney for his team going down to 10 men. But this is a brilliant ball in to the back post. And the substitutions paid off for the coach. All the attacking players come on. And there he is. We talked about the experience of Deli Basic. Real Vercano in Spain. He's in the right place at the right time. What a ball that is. The goalkeeper's taken out of it. Gary Cahill there is taken out of it as well makes no mistake and in the dying seconds of the game they're on the verge of the playoffs 
Andrea Jalebasic at the age of 30, winning just his fourth cap tonight for Montenegro. It's his second goal for the country, and it could well be the biggest goal in his country's short history. They've come from two goals down. It has ended, I can tell you, in Wales. Wales beating Switzerland by two goals to nil. So a draw here will be enough for Montenegro. It will also be enough for England, we shouldn't forget, to win the group outright. It'll be a fairly unsatisfactory, though, manner of winning the group, I imagine. Yeah, it will be. You know, and people will look at this particular game, they'll look at the ins and outs of the game, they'll look at Wayne Rooney's red card, but I think the qualification process is never an easy one, though it's expected to be easy for England. And I think they're going to get the point now to secure their avenue into the finals, Poland and Ukraine. But it's all about Montenegro right now, Adrian, isn't it? It's a great atmosphere and a, and a great credit to them for, for really driving at the game and going for it in the last 20 minutes of this one. That was Andrea Delabasic, who I think crashed into the post in the act of scoring. Still feeling it in the right arm. I think and Fabio Cavello just want the final whistle now because, uh, of course, one more goal conceded. We put Montenegro uh, back in position to overhaul England. Had the three minutes of stoppage time. Could be a few more seconds for that goal celebration, maybe another 45 seconds because that may be a minute. I'd be surprised if Montenegro are going to go all out for the victory. I know what you mean. If they win the two games, they will qualify in first place no playoffs needed but I think of this situation they're going to be delighted absolutely delighted with the with a point if it stays this way now last few seconds and there is the final whistle Fabio Capello's men limp away from Podragica in one sense, it is job done. They needed a point. They got a point. And the scoreline hides a different story of this game. One that involved a remarkable comeback. The uh, tiny nation of Montenegro. And the headline news will inevitably revolve around one Wayne Rooney. Well, it will. It will. And, you know, and it was a, it was a silly thing to do. But England have got it. They've got the point that they wanted, they needed. And Montenegro, absolutely delighted. The big loser, I guess, in this particular match day is Switzerland. They couldn't win there in, in Wales, and now the result has gone against them here. Tuesday's game means nothing. Montenegro are going to finish second in this group and into the playoffs with a real chance. You said it, it's a difficult place to come to. We've seen the stadium, it's not a big one, good atmosphere, a difficult surface. They've got every chance in a two legged affair getting to Poland and Ukraine. What a night here for this young footballing nation who are now just two games away from appearing at a major final for the first time. That's what this draw has earned them. They await, and will have to await, and see who they're up against when it comes to those uh, European qualifying playoffs. But uh, I think we mentioned it in commentary, Robbie, not many teams will fancy coming here for the uh, away part of that test. With that sort of sign awaiting them. <laughs> I'm sure the players are going to get in without their uh, with their uh, football kit in, in, intact. Fans taking the, the, some of the turf as well. Well, mementos needed on a night that will live on a long, long time here in Montenegro. We'll uh, be back with some final thoughts here at ends. Montenegro 2, England 2.